In this problem, um, we're going to look at a couple of examples of uh, using uh, the output from one function as input um, to another function. And this process is known as composition. Um, so we're given here uh, two, function, uh, two functions represented by formulas. Um, first the function f, uh, represented by this formula, and then the function g, uh, represented by this formula. And let's start with part e, A here, where we want to evaluate the expression or simplify the expression f of g of x. So uh, what this expression indicates is we're going to use the output from the function g as input uh, to the function f. All right, so let's do that. So we know uh, what uh, the um, uh, output uh, from the function g for the input x is. Uh, because that's uh, given by the formula uh, for the function uh, g. So where we have g of x in this expression, uh, we can substitute uh, instead uh, the formula for g, uh, which is 2x plus 3. And so now we want to evaluate or simplify the expression f of uh, 2x plus 3. So notice uh, all I'm doing here is taking um, 2x plus 3 uh, and substituting that uh, for uh, the expression g of x inside uh, the function notation uh, for f. All right, now let's evaluate f of uh, 2x plus 3. All right, so to evaluate f of 2x plus 3, I'm going to take that expression 2x plus 3, and I'm going to substitute it uh, for the input variable uh, in the formula for f. So in other words, I'm going to take 2x plus 3 and substitute it for x uh, in the formula for the function f. So that's going to give me... Um, 2x plus 3 squared uh, minus 2 times uh, 2x plus 3, and then plus 2. And now we just have a little algebra left to do in order to uh, simplify this expression. So let's see, 2x plus 3 squared, that means I'm going to take um, the quantity 2x plus 3 and multiply it by itself. So let me write that down. So I have 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. And now we can uh, simplify minus 2 times 2x plus 3 just by distributing that coefficient minus 2. So that's going to be minus 4x uh, minus 6. And then don't forget we have this plus 2 added on at the end. So when I square uh, 2x plus 3, in other words, multiply it by itself, that's going to give me uh, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. And then I'll have 2x times 3, which is 6x. And then 3 times 2x, that's another 6x. And then 3 times 3 is 9. And then minus 4x uh, minus 6 plus 2. And now let's add the like terms together to finish simplifying uh, this expression. So let's see. Uh, we only have one x squared term. So I'm going to have in my final result 4x squared. And then let's see. We have 6x plus 6x minus 4x. So I can combine these three terms together. Uh, that will give me uh 6x plus 6x is 12x minus 4x is 8x. So I'm going to end up with 8x in my final result. And then finally, we can add the constant terms together, 9 minus 6 plus 2. So 9 minus 6 is 3, and then plus 2 is 5. So uh, there's my final simplification in part A. Uh, f of g of x is going to be 4x squared uh, plus 8x plus 5. All right, now let's try doing that same operation, but in reverse. So we want to calculate g of uh, f of x. So where we have f of x, we can substitute uh, the formula for f of x, uh, which is x squared minus uh, 2x plus 2. So again, where I have f of x here, I'm going to substitute um, its formula. So I have x squared minus 2x plus 2, a g of that. And then to evaluate or to simplify g of x squared minus 2x plus 2, well, I'm just going to take the expression x squared minus 2x plus 2 and substitute it for the input variable x in the formula for the function g. So that's going to give me 2 times um, x squared minus 2x plus 2, and then plus uh, 3, which is part of that uh, formula for the function g. And now let's distribute this coefficient 2. So I have 2x squared minus 4x plus 4, and then plus 3. And we can add these two constant terms together uh, to finish simplifying this expression. So we end up here with uh, 2x squared uh, minus 4x uh, plus 7.
and that's the final result.